Books is made possible through the generous support of G's Hot Dog Cafe, home of the Chicago Dog, Papa John's Pizza, Lemonster, Fitchburg, Marlboro, Worcester, KC's Body Connection Massage Center, connecting body, mind, and spirit, Boucher Construction, Central Mass Sand and Gravel. Today we're going to do the tale of three fishes. Stay tuned. This is the deal on the three fishes. We have a salmon steak, a tuna steak, and a swordfish steak. And I love all these fishes, and they all can be done differently, but kind of the same. We're gonna do them really quick so you can see how they're done quick. Right now, I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna basically make, oops, basically make my marinade. Now when I, when I do a swordfish or a tuna steak, I don't use a heavy marinade because the tuna steak, I want to do a, like, almost like a hollandaise sauce with dill in it. And the uh, swordfish, I'm just going to use a lemon butter. And the salmon steak, I'm going to use an orange, orange marmalade, which is going to give all three of them a different look. But they're very easy to do, very quick and very easy. So you start out with a nice simple marinade, not anything too strong. I'm just going to clean some garlic here and chop it up, put it in the oil, and I'm going to infuse the oil with the garlic. I think we've done this before on the show. I'm not absolutely sure, but I'm pretty sure. I love using infused garlics. I mean infused oil, <laughs> not infused garlics, infused oils. Alrighty. I like a lot of garlic in my oil because then what I'm going to do with the leftover garlic is I'm going to take it out of the oil and then I'm going to put it into some butter and we're going to make a lemon butter for the um, swordfish. Boy, working with three fishes, I got to keep my fish straight. It's not like you're talking about one fish. And... that in my frying pan just like this all right now I'm going to take some olive oil I'm using a light olive oil and we're going to put that in there like that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this over to the stove and I'm going to put sizzle and it starts the little bubbles form I'm going to shut it off because I don't want it to cook. I want it to just get translucent. It's going to take a few minutes. So we're going to move this pan out of the way because that's going to be my griddle pan for my fish. Okay, now this is what our garlic is going to do. See how it's nice and simmering? In? And it's, I'm just going to even just shut this off right now. I'll leave it on low because I want the garlic to get soft but I don't want it to really cook. I want it to infuse the oil, but not get brown or bitter or anything in there. Because when garlic starts to get brown, it starts to get bitter. So we're gonna shut this off, and we're gonna let this cool 
and then that oil is going to be really, we'll just be able to put it right on all the fish. We are going to start by marinating our fish. Now I don't like to marinate this fish a long time, maybe 20 minutes or so, no more than that's needed, okay? I'm going to marinate them pretty much the same because I like to use a sa the same easy, just a lightly infused oil, brush them down. I brush the um, skin too. You can skin it if you want, but I like to leave the skin on a salmon. It's just easier to handle because it gets very flaky. So we're just going to do this with this oil. The oil is cool. You want it cool. It can't be hot. It'll cook your fish if it's hot. So it's been cool in probably 20 minutes, half an hour, because I do want it cool. Now, if you put a little garlic on here, it's not going to hurt anything. This I like to put just a little bit, smudge it on there, because this garlic is nice and soft. It's not um, hard at all. But mostly what I want to do with this garlic now, I'm going to squeeze this out, because I like that oil. I will save the oil. I'm going to take this nice softened garlic and this is about a quarter of a stick of butter that I melted down a little bit and I'm going to take most of the garlic and I'm going to put most of this garlic right inside here. There we go. All right, and then I'm going to just keep that there. This is going to make a butter, a lemon garlic butter, okay? I had a little green cow, cow. All right, here it is. I threw it in the sink. I like to keep a little towel with me. That way there, you can wipe your hands. Now I'm going to put a little bit of granulated garlic on this, just a tish. All right. I oiled both sides. And I'm going to season both sides. Okay. This tuna steak looks great. The swordfish looks great. And the salmon looks great. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of pepper. I don't want to put too, too much on both sides. Ooh. <laughs> Even with my rag, I'm still getting sticky squishies here. Oh, let's see, I'm running into complications. There we go. All right, now. On the tuna, I'm just gonna rub in a little bit of dry dill. Kind of like press it in there. Cause we're gonna make a weird little dill sauce for this in the blender. Okay. The other ones I'm just gonna sprinkle a little parsley on. Press it in there a little bit. Okay, oh, my fan's blowing. Okay, and last but not least, a little tiny bit of salt on each. Just very light, like that. Now I want the marinades to sink in. So I'm going to put these back in the dish, okay? Clean up the board with this one. And I'm going to put them back in the refrigerator and I'm going to let them marinate for 20 minutes. I don't let them marinate overnight. I don't think it's necessary. This type of fish, quick marinade, 15, 20 minutes, we're going to be all set. So we're going to let this marinate, and then we'll set up some sides. They'll take about maybe 15 minutes to grill, and we'll be all set to go. OK. I'm going to start by cutting a lemon, because I'm going to season these fish three different ways. I'm going to take a quarter of a lemon and take that little seed out because that's the only one I see on the side. And I'm going to squeeze it in this butter and garlic and that's going to make it lemon. And we're going to add a little bit, oops, I dropped the dill, of parsley, like so. And this is one sauce that we're going to cook our swordfish with. Sorry, Cal. A little close there. The salmon steak, I'm going to use some orange marmalade. Just like that. And we're going to brush that on the salmon steak. Okay? Now, this is 
butter is going to town, which is good. That's what we want. In the KitchenAid here, the blender, we're going to take two egg yolks. I find that the easiest way to break egg yolks. Of course, that one kind of smashed, but that's okay. There we go. We'll get that one in there. All right. I think I'm going to grab one more egg because those eggs are little. So we'll use three egg yolks. I don't know why, but I keep my shells. <laughs> I'm going to save this, these egg whites for some tapioca pudding. There we go. Take that off. We'll just drop that right through there. I'm just going to use my towel. Now you can hear that butter, because it's got to be bubbling when you do this. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of parsley. We're going to put a little bit of dill in there for seasoning. That's kind of pinch of salt. A couple of grinds of pepper. Okay, and we're going to make, this is almost kind of like a quick hollandaise. We're going to put this on. We just pour this boiling hot butter right in there nice and slow. all over the place and we're going to shut this off and I did want to add a little lemon but I'm going to have to add that at the end now. And I'm going to put this back. This we're going to top on top of the um, tuna steak. do right now is while I have this nice and warm is I am going to squeeze a little bit of lemon in here like this. It's about a quarter. I got a couple of seeds in there but we can pick them out. Now this is almost like a quick hollandaise sauce and it needs to if it starts to you know cool off you need to warm it up. You need to warm it up and you need to whisk it the whole time you're warming it up because it'll curdle, and you don't want that. And there we go, let's see. Mm. And that is good. And that's our sauces. We're gonna move the egg whites, because we're not using the egg whites. All right, so we're gonna clean up this mess, and we're gonna get to grilling. All right, so we're outside at the grill. We're gonna grill these beautiful steaks now. I'm gonna put on the swordfish first. Oh, sizzle. I'm going to put on the tuna steak next. So actually, the swordfish should probably go a little bit. Now, on the salmon, you want to score the skin on the edges so that it doesn't curl up, cause a problem. We're going to start the salmon face down because the, it gets very, very flaky. And when you toss, if you toss it around too much, it's gonna all break up on your grill. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of this lemon butter. Everything else is seasoned exactly the way I want it. The only thing I'm gonna add something to is the swordfish. Because I want that lemon butter to go right through it. Now this is very, very hot. As you can see, put out that fire. We don't want anything burning up. Once that butter's gone, it'll go down. There you go. Well, one more time. Get out. There we go. All right. We're going to let these cook a good five, six minutes on this side. OK. 
Okay. I'm going to cover them up. Give them a little bit of a head start. I don't like to leave them covered, though, because that's not a good thing. All right. I don't have the fanciest grill in the world. I buy what's ever on sale, and I use it to death. <laughs> this is about my... I've been married 27 years, so I've probably had about 15 grills. <laughs> uh, oh, I can hear sparking in there. All righty, there we go. It's the butter dripping off. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make that spark up. But that's all going to like seep into that fish, and it's going to be great. I don't like raw fish. I don't do my fish two minutes on one side, two minutes on the other. Oh, if you cut in the tuna steak and it's pink, it's got to cook some more. So I am a full-fledged, I cook my fish all the way through. Not, it's still moist, but I don't like raw in a fish. It's just, I'm not a sushi eater. All right. Now this is going, I'm going to marmalade the skin. Only because I want it to get crusty and crisp. I don't have a lot of marmalade and a lot of butter because I won't save the butter. I didn't save the other oil either because it's got the, the fish juices in the oil and I, I'd rather get some new oil. All right, now to get the grill marks, I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn it this way, like almost like a, a, half, a quarter turn. Take my tuna steak and I'm going to turn it this way. Okay, take my salmon and I'm going to turn it this way so that we get some grill marks. We want some nice grill marks on there. Okay, we're going to flip these and see how they're doing. We're going to flip the tuna steak. Oh, pretty. All right. We're going to flip the swordfish. Ooh, that's even prettier. And now for the salmon. Ooh, look at how beautiful that is. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do now that I flipped everything, we're going to re-glaze and re-season. A little bit of the butter, then the garlic here. This is very, oh, I love salmon like this. Once you have salmon like this, you'll, you'll never have salmon any other way. I'm leaving this a little bit plain because we're going to use that other sauce I made, that little weird sauce. And I'm going to put some nice orange marmalade on here. I think they have like a lemon or a citron marmalade too you can use, which is whipping good. Gonna spark up a little bit, so we'll let it spark up a little bit. I'm gonna let this cook a few minutes. This grill is almost like almost at the end of its life. <laughs> it's got a really bad hot spot here and a really bad hot spot here. So if you're not careful, <laughs> you're gonna burn. You're gonna burn your food. All right, so we're gonna let these finish up on this side, and I'm gonna go get the sides together on our plates, and we'll be ready to go. Okay, here we are back in the grill. We have a wonderful salmon steak, we have a terrific swordfish steak, and we have a tuna steak. And that's the tale of the three fishes. Thank you for watching Tina Cooks. Have a good night. Today we're gonna do the, no, that's not how I wanna say it. What am I saying again? Today I want, oh, today we got a tale of ants on the phone. Oh, I'm gonna taste the salmon stick. Let me taste it. Mmm. I mean, you have to this. Mmm. <laughs> Boy. I'm gonna taste a little bit of the sand, the tuna steak. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Now I have to steal some of Gina's salmon. Mmm.
все мы платим. А. Oh. What the marmalade? Isn't that great? Had that at the beach. It was wonderful. Very good. Hmm. Did I cook healthy food? Yeah, I went ahead. It's really great. Try jazz. This is awesome too. Actually, I think I like that and that better than the tuna. Oh, there we go.